Hi, guys! Today, we'll try a new tie-dye t-shirt design. Let's see. Do we have that much time? And what about your date? <laughs> Actually, it's tomorrow. I just wanted to be prepared beforehand. Let's bring all we need for this craft. Whoosh! Hey, I'm on the list too! The world's greatest styler and creator! So what are we waiting for? Let's draw an outline first. Get ready! Oops. Hail to Badaba, we covered the table. Guys, don't forget about that step too. We'll start with drawing a straight diagonal line on the t-shirt. Here we go! Whoosh! The greatest artist can do it blindfolded and without a ruler. Ha ha ha! Did I make it? Even the great ones make mistakes. And we're making tiny folds here. It's better to start from the lower end of the line and move upward. It looks like origami to me. I'm good at it, you know? Yeah, but this time we'll also use elastic rubber bands. We're going to tie this side with it like this. By the way, that's why the technique itself is called tie-dye. Guys, did you know that? Thumbs up if you learned a new thing! In the meantime, we keep going. It's fun to make folds and tie the t-shirt with colorful bands. Susan, can I choose the colors for the elastic band? Sure. The more colors, the better. Let's get things done. Now the t-shirt looks like a long sausage. <laughs> Let's grill it on this iron grid. And we need some seasonings, too. Hey, which one do you prefer? Cheese or chili pepper? <laughs> I'll go with the red color. Here we go. We'll squeeze the bottle and draw a zigzag. We need to do it like this. From one end to the other. This way. Great! So smooth! You got that for me, Sue! As soon as we're done with the red, we'll take the yellow color and draw the second zigzag. Check out how the fabric absorbs the dye! Oh, the final result is gonna be awesome! Susie, what should we call the blue dye? Sea salt? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Sounds perfect to me. Just look at this vibrant color. Guys, let's repeat the colors in the same order. And then we'll add black outlines. It's time to flip our grilled t-shirt on the back side and color it too! Guys, you've learned the steps, so just repeat them. And you'll get the same pattern on the back. And now we'll wash it up! T-shirt, come here! But first, we should get it in cold water. Get ready! Brr, it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> Let's get it soaked a bit more. And then we can wash it in the washing machine on the gentle cycle or by hand. Want to see the tie dried result? Then subscribe! And here is our colorful t-shirt. Now I have something to wear on my date. Let's make one more, Sue. I'm sure it'll come out even cooler. Oh, you want to create a new... Ah! Let's turn to plan B and use a wet tie-dye technique. Holy cannoli! Tie-dye has so many options! Sue, but you only have two! Okay, I hope it's a safe game. Let's guess. It's a heart! I suppose now we're stuck with this print. All right, then let's start with an outline first. Follow my lead! We folded the t-shirt in half, and now we'll draw one half of the heart. And guys, you can give this video as many hearts as you want! The next step is folding. We'll start with the lower edge of the heart. Guys, follow the heart's outline and keep folding. And the heart is transforming into… a straight line! It's kinda magical! Then this will help our magic to last a bit longer… longer! <laughs> Hurry up, Sue! The other part is unfolding! We'll use more rubber bands to squeeze the t-shirt up. Here we go! All right! Don't even try to escape! <laughs> Sugar me cheddars! It's alive! <laughs> Come back! We're almost finished tying it up. The last section is a bit messy, but I'm sure it'll come out well. Here are our elastic bands, Sue. Uh, I'll try not to get closer. 
All right, it's coloring time! Don't forget to wear protective gloves! Picking the first color is pretty simple this time. Let's squeeze some bright red color onto the heart shape part. Squish and squish again! This way the dye will soak better. Okay, who's gonna be next? Stand up straight, soldiers! Orange, it's your turn! Wow, check out this great color! Orange, you're the best! And blue is the last! Susie, the colors are ready! Let's wrap it up! Cheer me up, Sammy! Here comes the sun, doo doo doo! Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright! Susan, darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter! It wasn't winter, actually! Susan, darling, it seems like years since it's been here! But it was here all the time! Here comes the sun! Here comes the sun! Thanks, Sammy! The t-shirt should be dry and then get washed! Wow! I imagine that we traveled through time and I was a hippie! No wonder! Cause tie-dye was very popular back in the 1970s! Finally, we've got this! Looks amazing, huh? Wow! Susie, that's awesome! Oh, uh, yeah! Can I get ready for my date now? Not until we try my third design! So you just whoosh! Like this, okay? Um, whoosh? Something like this? <laughs> this won't do. If you want to swirl the t-shirt, there's another way. Now we have an access in the center and we can do this! Yippee! <laughs> what should we get from it? A ball shape! Actually, I want to draw a pokeball! Then you should pick your Pokemon first! I'm figuring it out right now! Well, toys, are you ready? Fight! <laughs> it was easy! This time, I gotta stretch an elastic band really wide! We'll just tie the t-shirt crisscross and then continue making small sections! Now let's place it on the grid! What color will be first? Black for sure! Let's start with the opening part! Then we need to draw a small circle in the center. <laughs> Mine is a bit droopy, though. Shiver me, Jetters! So I won't be able to call my Pokemon out? Don't worry! <laughs> Your Pokeball will come out just fine! I almost have the opening done. Check this out! Cool! But do hurry up! My Pokemon is so clingy! Ugh. Got it! <laughs> By the way, only one color is left here. Guys, do you remember the iconic red Pokeball? The upper half is red and the lower half is white! That's right! Guys, wait a bit more and you'll get to see the final result! Woohoo! My Pokemon finally has its own home! But Sue, how are we gonna open the Pokeball? We're at the finish line! Are you ready to see it? Let's speed up and reveal it! Okay, but you said that! Guys, this is it! Our Pokeball transformed into… this! Actually, it looks quite cool, huh? I changed my mind! Sue, be my Pokemon and try this t-shirt on! Today we'll make an unusual craft. We're gonna assemble a real logo printing machine! Oh, Sue, I'm so thrilled that you decided to help me! I can't wait to start! Are you looking forward to it too, guys? If yes, then give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Sue, I'm already steady! I'll make 
anything to launch my own collection of prints! This will be the base of our printing machine, so it has to be sturdy. These barriers will help to enforce it, but be very careful with hot glue, guys. We'll just need to close everything from above with another piece of cardboard. We'll keep assembling the core of our machine. Guys, remember the glue is really hot! Let's add more barriers like this, and this is the last one. Now we'll place this part on top. Up. Guys, the base for our printing machine is ready! Now we'll move on to the next important stage of our craft. We're gonna make a rectangular frame from these parts. Let's start! This frame will help to transfer the image straight onto the fabric. Okay. Transfer the image. It reminds me of something. I'll be right back. And we're done. We'll need two of those frames. Susie, I guess we'll need this now. Oh, Sammy, uh, let me help uh, you. Uh, 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 <sighs> creating merch is so much fun. Especially when you do it together with your friends. By the way, Sammy. Did you already come up with the logo? What exactly will our machine be printing? All right. It is time to show my designer superpowers. Oh, creativity. <laughs> Let's remove the extra fabric. Be careful with scissors. Listen, Sammy. What should the perfect logo of yours reflect? <laughs> Give me a break, Sue. Of course it should be me. Well, that's interesting, but maybe something else? Well, um... It could be my love for sweets, and crafts, and cartoons! <laughs> you have such a huge range of interests, Sammy. <laughs> At this stage, we'll need, ta-da, some small fastenings. By the way, the very first logo appeared in 1900. It depicted a dog called Nipper, which was listening to the voice of his deceased owner on a record player. <laughs> Seriously, Sue, my dog created the logo 100 years earlier than me! No, 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 Sammy. Nipper's owner's brother once noticed the dog's behavior and made a picture of it. Then he took the drawing to the company, which produced record players. They liked the drawing so much that they made it their logo. <laughs> cool, right? Well, I think that my logo is no worse than that with the dog. Uh, what do you say, Sue? Wow, great job, Sammy. It's totally amazing. We'll need it very soon. But for now, we'll make the so-called fastening mechanism of our printing machine. Oh, these parts look like arrows, Susie, and they're saying for me to go this way! These, as you call them, arrows, need to be connected with several wooden toothpicks. Now let's press it against the cardboard. Be careful, don't poke yourself. Mm. Now we can assemble the whole piece. Easy peasy. There you go. Let's remove the excess using cutter pliers. Don't forget to use caution, guys. We've got a part like this. Now we'll attach… I gotcha, Susie! Whoosh! <laughs> Let's connect these parts together. We'll need one more toothpick, guys. Done. Let's use the cutting pliers once more. Snap. Snap. And here's our movable mechanism. We'll glue this construction to this small platform. Don't spare the glue. This part of our printing machine will move. And I'll place this here. Glue these parts on the sides. Hop. Let's turn our construction over. Now we'll need our frame. And it's already here! <laughs> Whoa, Sammy, you've read my mind! Thumbs up for my favorite helper, guys! Woo! See, guys, the construction fits perfectly into the frame! Click. Perfect! Ah, Susie, with my experience in crafts, I think your thoughts faster than you do. <laughs> That's true, Sammy. Now we'll assemble the body of our logo printing machine. This is one of the most exciting parts of this craft. It should look neat, right, Sammy? There you go. I just neatly but also beautiful, Susie! No, my craft defo should be bright. I'll be right back! Where did this restless slime go off to again? Oh, I almost forgot! We need this thread over here. It should be belted like this. We'll add a couple more cardboard pieces to make our craft sturdier. Come here. Now we'll place this construction into the body. There you go. 
Hey, Susie, is the body ready? I found some stickers for decor. Oh, good job, Sammy, but you better help me with the craft. This I can do. How can Master Sam help you? Here, Master Sam, would you be so kind and glue these circles to these squares? In the blink of an eye. Whoosh! That's how you do it. I told ya. <laughs> Sammy, you're a magician. We'll just have to connect to all the parts of our craft now. I can't wait to test this machine in action. I'm sure we'll get an awesome result. And Sam will be happy. Now we'll need two motors. Pop. Great. The second motor is installed. Let's move on. Now we'll install the battery. Guess what? The mechanism is ready! Let's place the battery inside. Shoo! I cut out the remaining parts! Thank you, Sammy! And the final touch. Great! Just one more step is left to print the actual image. Huh, finally. For this, we'll need your logo. Always at your service. We'll place the frame on top of the drawing and, using a marker, carefully transfer the logo onto fabric. We totally forgot! What will we print your logo on? I already found it! I hope that's not one of my t-shirts. Uh, uh, of course not. I'll keep searching. Oh, Sammy. In the meantime, we'll cover the fabric with a special decoupage solution. Here's our intermediate result. Next comes the most interesting part. Stay tuned! Here, Susie, this will be perfect for printing my logo. Oh, you're right, Sammy. It's a great rag bag. Let's make it special. We'll put it carefully like this. Huh? <gasps> it's working! Wow, she was so cool! Now we'll add fabric paint. Pour it carefully like this. Shoo! Add more! My logo has to be the most beautiful! Sure. <laughs> Arrange my dear logo! Oh, I can't wait to see it! Are you ready to check out the results, Sammy? So I don't get it, the outline and that's it? Where's the brightness and uniqueness? Where's all that? Oh, I heard you, Sammy. Let's add some color. My logo will be unique! Just like me! I guess you're right, Sammy. The outline really printed out nicely. But we should add some more brightness to it. How do you like this color, Sammy? Go ahead, Susie. Here we go. Wow, Sue seems like you know my taste perfectly well. I fully trust you, so I can leave you for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> okay, Sammy. I won't fail you. Good. 